And closer to home, Pearl Harbor survivors from Northeast Wisconsin were also honored today at the Wisconsin Veterans Home in King. Fox 11's Eric Peterson takes us to the ceremony near Wapaka. They came to remember the day they can never forget. This Sunday marks the 73rd anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor. Clyde Stevenson of Appleton was a 21-year-old Marine based on the battleship USS California. He was training on the rifle range when the attack began. It didn't take us long to figure that out what the, who they were. Stevenson says his group fired back. And they gave us credit for shooting down for the 27 planes that were shot down. Al Kruger was in the Army Air Corps and Chuck Davis served in the Navy aboard the USS Argonne. And one servicewoman in the audience was recognized as well for her service during the attack. The attack on Pearl Harbor was the turning point that brought the United States into World War II. The stories of that day are permanently etched into American history, but many of those who lived through it are now in their 90s. Only 10% of Wisconsin's World War II veterans are alive today. These gentlemen are getting older and they're passing away. And I feel it's very important that we remember their sacrifice and their service. Amber Nikolai says oral historians at the Veterans Home are trying to save those stories before they're gone. We're getting a lot of interest in making sure that these stories are captured and covered. And it's very important for the American people to realize that there's heroes amongst us. Any of those. Uh, the services, the wars that were in, uh, the people uh, appreciate uh, doing what they did. Veterans from Pearl Harbor to the present. Let us all remember their deeds, the deeds that are in this room today, and appreciate their sacrifice, and take a moment to honor the legacy of these heroes. In King, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. There are more than 700 veterans and their spouses from every branch of the service living at that home in King, and that includes 180 from World War II.